Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be building the Geneva wheel. The uh, way that I'm going to go about doing this is I'm going to draw everything on one sketch plane uh, and I'm only going to use uh, circles and uh, squares and lines. So I'm not going to be using any um, uh, semicircles or arcs or anything. So uh, everywhere where it says radius, I'm going to be uh, converting that to a diameter. So, um, like I said, everything's going to be on a single sketch plane. So I have it pulled up right here. So, um, I can go to the sketch that I did for the main drawing right here. And, um, so you see on this right hand side that the diameter of the, um, outside most part is eight inches. So that is this circle right here. So this is going to be diameter of eight inches. And then it shows for the um, center of these arcs right here um, on the left hand side it shows that it's a radius of 4.5 so what i did is i drew this circle at nine inches in uh, diameter and that's what i used for the center points of the circles so those circles i put right here uh, and um, i just extruded the inside parts and then lastly, I did the uh, vertical lines right here and then the circles right here and then uh, extruded only the certain part that I needed. And then I extruded that and then I came around and on this front sketch face, I did a extrusion backwards and then I did the fillet right there. And lastly, I did the cut part so the circle and the uh, rectangle part right up top so let's go on ahead and get started with a new one so we'll go to sketch and we'll do this on the top plane looking down so like I said uh, at the beginning so we'll do a circle of diameter of eight And we'll go on ahead and do a circle of a diameter of nine. All right, and then we'll click on this outer circle and then come over here to the left and click for construction. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. It just makes the lines uh, dashed. And when you go to select stuff to extrude, it will not select the uh, space in there. It just helps uh, keep the drawing a little cleaner. So now we're going to draw these uh, circular arcs right here. So like I said, I'm going to draw it as a circle. So it's going to be radius of 1.5, so a diameter of 3. And then we're going to do a circular sketch pattern to uh, move those around. So we'll come to circle, and we'll start over here on the left. And it needs to be, so the center has got to be on this outside circle. And then you also want the center to be in line with your uh, vertex right here. So just come right over until you see that dotted line that comes across like that and then we'll draw a circle and then we're going to dimension that to three there we go and then we are going to uh, come up to the top right here where it says linear sketch pattern click on the right hand arrow and go to circular sketch pattern and then select the circle and over here on the left where it says four we're going to delete that and put six and then it will automatically space the six uh, circles uh, around for us. So hit that check mark. And then as you can see, they're blue right now, which means they're not fully defined. So the reason that they're not fully defined is that the uh, center uh, of these uh, is not uh, connected on this line of this circle, if that makes sense. So what you can do is you can select one of these, the centers of the circle, and then you're going to hold control and click on the um, nine inch diameter circle and then you're going to click coincident on your relation over there oops sorry about that we're actually going to do it on the center point so it does all of them at once so um, if you moved it uh, like i did you can click this center point right here hold control and click your vertex and click coincident on the left and then it will fully define all of those um, another way that you can do that if you don't want to have to deal with that is you can come up to where you were doing your circular sketch pattern 
and then select for your um, things that we're going to pattern. You're going to select the circle that you uh, want to rotate on, and you're going to select the circle that we drew the circles on. So we're going to select this circle right here and this big circle right here. And then once again, do six. And if you do it that way, it will automatically fully define it. So you have a couple different ways that you can do it, but you definitely want to make sure that your sketch is fully defined and everything is black at this point. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this, uh, these uh, two lines right here in this semicircle down there at the bottom. So you can see that this construction circle right here is four inches in diameter, and that is where the circles right here will be uh, concentric on. So we can draw a circle. So we're gonna come up from the vertex and then just draw a randomly sized circle. And then if you look at this bottom dimension right here, it says 0 0.5 width. So uh, because we know the width right there, we know that that means that the diameter of this circle needs to be 0 0.5 inches. So now that we have that drawn, we can draw the four inch circle and get that dimensioned. And then same thing as last time, we're going to click this circle, come over here on the left and click for construction. And then lastly, we're going to make this circle coincident on this top circle. So we need to select this midpoint right there. Yep, so the midpoint of that circle, and then hold control and click the uh, outer circle, and then click uh, coincident, and then that will uh, lock it in place. Um, let me just redo this part right here. So I'm just gonna delete this circle. It's not happy for some reason. So uh, what I would do first in this case is just draw the uh, construction circle to four inches in diameter. So there we go, so four inches right there. And then once again, click it and click on the four construction. And then we'll draw the uh, smaller circle uh, on that line. So we'll come up from the vertex until we intersect at this circle. And then we'll draw it right there and dimension it at half an inch. And now it's fully defined. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to draw two vertical lines from the left-hand edge of the circle straight up to it uh, intersecting with the 8-inch uh, diameter circle. And then once again from the right-hand edge straight up until it intersects with the 8-inch circle. And then we're going to go to Sketch and Circular Sketch Pattern again, Entities to Pattern. We're going to select this circle, the vertical lines, and once again, we're going to select the uh, construction circle so that these will be automatically uh, fully defined. And then right there, once again, where it says four, we're going to select six, and it will automatically space those out. There we go. And then this is now fully defined, and we're ready to extrude it. So we're going to come up here to extrude and then we are going to need to um, select the area that we want to extrude so um, if you did your uh, uh, construction lines for these circles right here then it will um, automatically uh, ignore those when you're going to fill certain areas but if those were regular lines, uh, you're going to need to select this inside part and uh, all of the smaller parts. But uh, all you got to do is just click and uh, we see that it needs to be extruded 0 0.5 inches. And there we go. So now we have that uh, extruded piece right there. And we can now work on this circle part that comes out of the back right here. So we see it's a diameter of 2.5 inches. So we'll go to a sketch uh, on that original face that we did. 
and draw a circle at 2.5 inches. And we will extrude it straight through and make sure it's going the correct direction so we don't want it coming out of the page. We want it going into the page and it is one inch deep off of the face. So we're going from the sketch plane one inch straight back. Here we go. And then it extruded that back piece and then we'll go on ahead and get the fillet right here. So you see that the radius is 0 0.25 inches on the fillet. So we can come up here to the features tab, fill it, and select our radius 0 0.25 inches. And we're going to select just that circle right there. So just that one. And it will automatically fill it for us. Um, if you select the wrong face, it will, um, like if you select that face, then it will automatically do all of the edges that that face is attached to. So that's not what we're wanting to do. We're wanting to do just this one circle right there. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna come and do the keyhole and the inner circle cut out. So the final sketch is gonna be on this same first face. And so we see right here that the diameter of this uh, inner circle is 1.5 inches, and then it is a 0.36 by 0.20 keyway. So the way that a keyway is measured is if you come up here to the uh, instructions in Canvas, you see that the width uh, is 0 0.36, and that just means, uh, uh, like it says, the width uh, of it. And then the height, the 0 0.2, it is 0 0.2 from the circle that you uh, are measuring from straight up. So it's not the entire height. It's just this little part right here. So that'll make a little bit more sense here in just one second. So we will draw a circle of diameter three, oh, excuse me, 1.5. And then we're going to, uh, to do a center rectangle. So uh, your center rectangle should be up here on the left if you click uh, the drop down arrow by a uh, corner rectangle you should see the one for center rectangle. And then you're going to uh, select it as the center point straight up from your vertex and where it intersects with this uh, circle that we just drew. And then you're just gonna draw a box. And then we're gonna do it 0.36 inches wide. So that means that the width from this line to this line is 3.6 inches. And because it's a center rectangle, uh, it will automatically space the width on either side to the appropriate uh, width. And lastly, it says 0 0.20. So that means that the height from this circle right here to the top uh, line right here is 0 0.20. So we can go to our dimension tool and do from this center point right here to this top line is going to be 0 0.2. And because it's a center rectangle, that means that it is fully defined. And we can go to features and extrude a cut. And for our selected contours, we're going to select this part and this part, and lastly, that part. And we are going to make sure that we go from the sketch plane and through all. And then that is now done. So that is the Geneva wheel uh, with the uh, keyhole cutout. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment below.